I want to do a quick word association game with you guys, and I want to see if you can get it. I'm going to lob you a real easy one, okay? We're going to start with peanut butter, jelly, right? Hammer, nail, darman. Insufferable skits that make you want to swan dive into a volcano. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It's an absolute treat to have you here. Now, recently I learned that one of the most prolific crossovers in YouTube history flew under my radar, and I'm ashamed to say it. I'm not talking about PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye. I'm not even talking about Mr. Beast, Mark Rober. No, I'm thinking bigger. I'm talking about Darman and Sniper Wolf. That's right, the Sultan of Sh Skits teamed up with the Ice Queen of the Preteens to bring us, well, a, a sh just be skit. If you're just waking up out of a cryo chamber, Darman is a media mogul with now, let me check here, 24 million followers on Facebook. <laughs> And he just got his diamond play button on YouTube by reaching 10 million subscribers. I mean, this dude is cranking numbers and his content is, it's like motivational life lesson skits that I don't, it's like what your boomer aunt shares on Facebook or apparently parents that don't know how to parent show their kids to try and teach them values, for instance. I want to thank you and your team for creating mini clips. It has helped me as a mother to explain my boys how they behave because all no parents do not understand or know anything. Spoiled son doesn't want to do chores. Sweetheart, you didn't take out the trash last night. Alex! You didn't take out the trash last night. Uh, I will later. I'm supposed to take out the trash, clean my room, and take out Max. I don't get paid to clean the living room. So the rat kid is a dickhead to his mother, and then something happens, I'm sure, where he learns a lesson in the end. Okay, wait! You're right, okay? Should have put the trash bags in the garbage. I mean, real heartwarming shit, and it's perfect for parents that don't want to do anything. They can just show their kids this and not have to instill any sort of values in them. The internet will do it for them. And of course, Darman swoops in at the end with a wonderful message. Hey, Darman fam, please remember that we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. There we go. And when you share my content, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Listen, I know Darman is like a little bit of a target in commentary. People talk about him because this shit is so cringe, but at the end of the day, he's like a family man. He's trying to do something good here. Mostly, I think he's doing it because he's minting stacks and stacks of paper because he knows how to create content that boomer moms share on Facebook. But the guy means well. I got to give him credit for building such a successful business online. And then there's Sniper Wolf. Hello, friends. It's me. And today we are checking out some things that you've probably never seen before. An absolute YouTube wrecking ball coming up on 30 million subscribers netting anywhere from four, five, six million views per daily reaction video upload. Her young teenage audience is just like, ooh, hot girl with thick frame glasses. In my opinion, I don't know, like, she has the personality of a baked potato, if I'm being honest. I don't know how the fuck people, and I'm not talking like loaded baked potato with like bacon, cheese, sour, just like a plain ass baked potato, not even any salt. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ever seen these windmills and are like, hmm, what happens when you throw a ball up on one? You ain't never getting that ball back, that's for sure. Clearly she's won the YouTube game. She's pulling in millions a year. Uh, so now from their respective sides of the internet, the cringe skit maker Darman and the baked potato ice queen of reaction content have gotten together to create something marvelous. I can't wait to watch it. Hey Darman fam, I'm super excited Epic for intro. you guys to watch today's video. Not only because it's our first ever part two in Darman Studios history, what? but also because it's another collab with Sniper Wolf. Hello friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, another collab? You're telling me there's a a previous Sniper Wolf collab that I wasn't aware about? I'm just learning about this shit now? What the fuck? God, I am slacking, bro. It is hard when you get old and have a family to try and pay attention to shit on the internet that doesn't matter that you can make commentary videos about. And to celebrate this collab, we're actually gonna be giving two of our subscribers a PlayStation 5. That's why in my video today, I'm giving away this free pair of Raycons. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, this is my pair. Uh, I don't have anything for you except these nuts, but Raycon is actually the sponsor of today's video, so let's let's talk about that real quick. With Hot Boy Summer in full swing, you better believe I keep these Raycon earbuds on me at all times. Whether I'm working out or gallivanting around town in these here Daisy Dukes, I use them to listen to the artists I love in podcasts that help keep my brain fat. Loved by celebs like Brandy and Mike Tyson, Raycon has delivered earbuds that are stylish, comfortable, 
and start at half the price of other premium brands. Oh, and they also sound fantastic and come in multiple fun colors and fit options. And did I mention they actually stay in your ear? With six hours of playtime, an impressive bass response, and seamless Bluetooth pairing, I'm psyched that I have these for my upcoming vacation in Martha's Vineyard. I just slip them in my pocket, and then when it's time to take the ferry ride over to the island, I have a background track. So if you're on the move this summer or just need a reliable way to work from home, Raycon earbuds are a fantastic solution for your audio needs. And with a 45-day free return policy, it's a no-brainer to give them a shot. And as usual, you can get 15% off your very own pair by clicking the link in the description below or visiting buyraycon.com com slash Leon Lush. Thank you guys so much for all the support and thank you Raycon as usual for supporting the creators we love. Appreciate you. I'm ready to learn a lesson here. Did you see Psycho Mantis stream yesterday with Sniper Wolf? Yo. It was so dumb. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And just call her Sam. She's not even a real gamer. <laughs> there she is. Hey. We watched two play Among Us last night. Oh, <laughs> you did? Yeah, I can't believe no one guessed you were the imposter. I told you it was gonna be Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Her name's Sam. And what kind of dumb name is Psycho Mantis anyway? <laughs> First of all, Psycho Mantis is a fire name, okay? Secondly, why are these like college graduates bullying a fifth grader? I'm confused. It's from Metal Gear Solid. I think it's really cool. Yeah, buddy, send it. Oh my gosh, is that the new Darman Studio hoodie? You probably make so much money, you can buy whatever you want. Jesus Christ, he put a hoodie plug. He put a he put a merch plug into his skit. He, made, he put a merch plug into the skit by writing in a scene where the girl's fans have adoration for her new Dharma hoodie. This is fucking amazing. Look at, he's looking down at his own clothes, bummed out because he doesn't have the new Dharma hoodie on. And probably doesn't make nearly as much as Psycho Mantis, clearly, because everybody knows Twitch streamers are all millionaires. It's not even that special. Anyone can buy that dumb merch. It's true. Besides, she's not even a real gamer. People only watch her videos to see Sniper Wolf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> fucking dab me up, bro! Roasted the fucking seven-year-old. Get some. Hey, Sam. Are you going to be streaming with uh, Sniper Wolf again tonight? Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Yes, we can't wait to watch it. Like he said, they're only there to watch Sniper Wolf. Are they like, that, so they're writing in like his own merch plug. They're gassing Sniper Wolf up, which I mean, I get it. She's got like 30 million subs. She probably has like a billion young girls that idolize her. Um, so sure, I'm just, I can't, I'm curious what her, is she going to be herself in this skit? I imagine, let's find out. Sam! O-M-G. Was that her? Your mom drives a Tesla? I bet you could buy one too, couldn't you? <laughs> If it isn't Sam, the one. <laughs> Dude, it's just always hanging around the corner. He was like behind a tree, waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in and talk shit. <laughs> if it isn't Sam, the psychomantis, not real gamer. Let me guess. Sniper Wolf bought you the Tesla. <laughs> See you guys later. Dude's so pumped right now. Oh, hey, honey. I'm over here. Mom, what the fuck did I tell you about bringing the Volkswagen near school? Mom, what are you doing? I said pick me up in the back of the school. <laughs> I don't want people seeing our crappy car. Dude, that's not even a bad car. It's like a VW. Like, it's decent looking. Looks maybe like a 2009. Hey, guys. Today, we're going to be playing Fortnite with Sniper Wolf. Hell yeah. Hello, friends. It's me. And we're about to get this game started. Yeah, so she's just playing okay, herself. Okay, I'm landing at that house. Cool. Landing at the house next to you. Whoa. There are a lot of comments coming in. Well, there are a lot of comments coming in. Maybe you should read some of them. The acting's a little bit robotic, and the part that's funny to me is that she's not even playing a character, she's playing herself, and she doesn't even know how to be herself. Benji98 says, love watching your streams. Thanks, Benji. Oh, thanks. Okay, um, GameRatJoe12 says, hey, wannabe gamer girl. Oh, no. You really suck. I mean, the bully's persistent. We'll give him that. He's hiding behind trees to find the perfect time to interject and talk shit before he bounces out to the back of the school and get picked up by his poor mom in a fucking Volkswagen. <laughs> He's in chat telling her she sucks. I'm curious to see how she handles this. This is going to be a true test of character for uh, Psycho Babbles. Ba uh, Psycho Mantis, excuse me. Hey, guys. We're going to take a quick break. Oh, we got an inspirational hey, talk coming. Here we are go. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I'm... 
Just stop feeling it today. Tell me what's wrong. There's this kid at school and he's always been making fun of me and I'm pretty sure he's the one making those mean comments. What am I talking about? You wouldn't understand. Everyone loves you. Oh, Sam. if you only knew, Sam. Oh, what happened, Psychomantis? I heard you had to cut your stream early last night. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was you in the chat. Just please, leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> and what happened, Psychomantis? Heard you had to end your stream a little early last night. <laughs> Hope I didn't make you cry. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Cyberwolf, do Are something. You okay? Save her. Yeah. That's the kid I was telling you about. Oh, my God. Get his ass. He's the one making those mean comments yesterday. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go talk to him. If we don't come up with $1,800 by the end of today, we're out. Can we just, can we look at this fucking eviction oh, yeah, notice? Eviction <laughs> this fucking eviction that you we couldn't have. with $1,800. Darman, you got a multi-million dollar studio and you couldn't, you couldn't get a, a fucking intern to just download like an eviction notice template on Google. You had to draw up some dumb shit like this. How am I going to believe this is real when you're drawing up some dumb shit like this? It's just so unfair. Why does this have to happen to me? Jordan! Jordan, stop! Don't go, Jordan! The dramatic eviction notice paper roll up to the feet of Sam and Sniper Wolf. I fucking love this. Sniper Wolf's gonna pay for his rent. I have an idea. Yeah, look. Come on. So they're gonna like cut to the house. And she'll be like, somebody randomly paid for our house or something. You know what I mean? And then he's gonna be like crying and can't believe that they were so nice after he's been so mean to him. And we're gonna learn a lesson in the end that always pays to be nice, which is true. I mean... Uh, it just doesn't make for the greatest skits, in my opinion. Oh, it's like buck fifty. Yeah, it's like one hundred fifty-four dollars. That should. That's close. We don't have enough money. There's no way he's gonna accept that. What's gonna happen, Hum? Your turn to get bullied. We have nowhere else to go. I don't know, Jordan. Maybe if you made money on YouTube like all your fucking friends, we wouldn't be in this pickle, you lazy piece of shit. Here. Pay it forward time, baby. Surprise, it's not the landlord. Oh, it is the landlord. Hey, Maria. About oh. to get clapped. Take this, please. It's all we have, and uh, we have nowhere else to go. It's actually not why I'm here. Somebody paid your rent. I'm writing a receipt for your $1,800 payment. What? What's happening? How did this happen? Uh... You might want to yeah, the big reveal. Pan over and get served, Jordan. Wait, what are you two doing here? Hey, we noticed you're poor and like I'm wicked rich uh, from being famous on the internet, so we paid for your rent. <laughs> your mom's car is still shitty, though. Can you stop bullying Sam? It's really mean. You don't need to project your fucking pornos on us, please. Thank you. We also have another surprise oh, for you. Oh, gaming PC? Let's go. Here's a thousand dollars. Oh, just more cash. Nice. So you can get your car fixed. Booyah. Oh my god. Thank you so much, both of you. I've been praying for a miracle and I just, this is gonna change our lives. <laughs> <laughs> let you talk. I'll let you talk. All right. I'll see you at school tomorrow, Jordan. Sam? Look, I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. To be honest, I was only being mean to you because I was unhappy with my own life. We all love a self-aware bully, don't we? Listen, money solves all problems. Everybody knows that. Fucking, you get bullied, throw some money at them. Someone fucking talking shit to you online, pay for their rent. They better fucking hug or I'm going to be bullshit. <clears throat> no! Sigh. Yeah, what about this dickhead? What about the bully sympathizer? How's he... How's he fit into the ending, the finale here? Dude, did you see Sam's stream yesterday? It was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking death, bro! Sick burn! Not anymore, bitch! She 
just paid for my car and my rent. I ain't saying shit. As long as she keeps on paying me. She doesn't even deserve to be called a real gamer. Yeah. Uh, I watched it. And... Actually... Really liked it. It was really good. <laughs> what? Are we talking about the same Sam? Uh, hey, bro. Uh... You good, bro? You do, did we watch the same stream? Her fucking name is Psycho Mantis. She's not even a real gamer, bro. Hell yeah, here we go. Darman coming in with a fat lesson at the end. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you guys love that message. What was this I video did. about? You never actually know what somebody's going through. If somebody's gonna hate on you, they're usually gonna be unhappy in their own lives. It has nothing to do with you, so don't take it personal. Boom. I love that. And please remember, we're not just telling stories, we're, we're changing, changing lives. lives. That takes a little bit of hubris to fucking claim that. He's been saying that for a long time. We're not telling stories, we're changing lives. And if you share my video, you're making me a fuckload of money. I mean, we're, you're changing lives too. That's what I meant to say. Man, this video taught me so much. I think I need to double down on my bullying. I've been struggling lately and I just really need someone to pay for my rent. <laughs> you see, Darman's not just telling stories. He's changing lives. You see, Darman's the perfect tool for teaching those people in your life that you care about how not to incorrectly treat other people. You afraid you have a mom with a bob haircut and she's gonna falsely accuse a black man of something? Show her this one. You have a kid that's bullying an autistic kid at school? Show him that one. Lesson learned, Darman makes a cool million bucks and you now know it's not okay to bully autistic kids. It's a triple win for everybody. Anyhow, shout out to Darman. He's not doing anybody any harm, obviously. I understand the underlying messages. I agree with most of the underlying messages. It's just uh, I have a bit of an allergy to this kind of scripted, contrived bullshit that's so popular uh, on social media. And if you want to change the world right now, well, my world at least, uh, you can hip thrust that motherfucking like button to this video because it helps me out and I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet and you did that, that would also mean the world. I'm very excited to see you guys in the next video very shortly. I appreciate you being here as always. Have a great rest of the week. Peace.